me oh. and the boys. Uh, this is probably gonna be the last video of the decade. Ah! Ah! Carson just uh, karate chopped Mitchell on the balls. I'm sorry. It is the second to last day of the decade. Mitchell, what was your favorite meme of the decade? Meme? Yeah. Ugh. Ooh. Meme of the decade. You gotta think about that one. Uh, probably the, uh, the do you know the way. Just you because, gotta be just because, it was a bad one, I know, but just because it sparked so much merchandise and all the, you just feel so bad for the parent that has the little two-year-old going around, do you know the way, 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 you just feel so bad for them because the parent is just sitting there like, what do you think meme of the de decade should be? Oh, it's a good conversation. Okay, meme of the decade. I don't know. I know meme of the year. My favorite meme of 2019 has been the me and the boys meme. Yeah, that's a good one. Just because it's so, like, relatable to my life. Yeah. Uh, meme of the decade, though. I mean, if we're gonna go based off of, like, a single, like, not even just, like, a meme trend, but, like, an actual, like, like, a single one meme. image meme. Yeah. It has to be the big McFankies from McSpankies. <laughs> that's a good one. That is so hilarious. Every time I've seen it, I laugh my ass off. Uh, actually, meme of the decade, I might, I might nominate sodium chloride as meme of the decade. Although I'm sure the episode might have come out before 2010. Ooh, actually, yeah. it definitely did, because Jimmy Neutron got cancelled in, like, 2006. Yeah, well. But, I don't know, the video, I don't know if it kind of is different. Who knows, if you count that as a meme, then that's my, that would be my meme of the decade nomination. Definitely not Baby Yoda, though. That's annoying. Well, I mean, okay, Baby Yoda was kind of funny at first. It's not really its meme. It's like, I don't understand, like, the cute memes. Like, those aren't memes. Yeah. They're just supposed to be cute images. Well, okay, what I do like about Baby Yoda is, like, sometimes they'll use it, like, me watching my mom have, or me mo watching my mom wrestle the mailman or something like that. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. That's a good one. Like, the dark ones are kind of funny. Uh, but just like the random ones. Just like, Baby Yoda as a meme. I'm not so hot on the idea. Can we get an email? So, that's my opinion on meme of the decade. There's this game my father taught me years ago. It's called Switch. Driving part, alpha. Driving part 17. Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to get dirt, dog. Driving down the bridge. My wife Karen took the kids. Where are you getting at? No, don't. <sighs> Carson, what do you have to say about the democracy? The democracy. <laughs> uh, wait, it won't zoom. This is not okay. Zoom. Why is my zoom. phone? Where is my child's vape? Show me where my child is. it a USB? It looks like a USB. Is this a vape? It, 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 vape. Don't, no. Don't. Vape. <laughs> Mitchell, it's sideways. Vape. Oh. Mop it. It's it's Italian, Mom. Don't worry. I'm multicultural now. Uh, ooh, a tan of mongo winning the thing over Mr. Beast. That was uh, that not good. I didn't appreciate that at all. Everyone disliked that. Yeah. Tan of mongo. Tanacon? What the heck? You don't start a convention. Tanacon was kind of funny, honestly, but it was. But you don't start a yeah. You don't start a convention about yourself. I appreciate the idea of starting a rival convention to VidCon, but name it anything other than Tanacon. Yeah, just name it like Trash White Girl with Fake Exaggerated Story Con. Or like VidCon 2 or something. VidCon 2.0. <laughs> the Bible 2. That's funny. <laughs> that was. What kind of for Tuesdays, my neighbor? I can't leave that in the video. No, nope, that's, the, that's <laughs> the wrong one. <laughs> What's that one cookbook that's like made to build bombs? The chemistry textbook? No, no, no. No, there's one, and it's called, like, the, the something cookbook. And it's basically just a cookbook that help that, like, takes everyday objects and just lets you build bombs. Oh, like, like as soon as you buy it, you're who, put... Who you're is put, it written by? Saddam Hussein? Something like that. But as soon as you buy it, you're put onto the FBI watch list. <laughs> and there was a time where you could actually buy it on Amazon. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty sure oh. iDubbbz was sent one okay. of those before. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was. I mean, that guy gets all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know how many, like, books about Hitler that he gets? <laughs> I mean, you go through and you watch his bad unboxings, which I'm not recommending you do, because... Yikes. Um, 
there's some of them that, like, you just get sent a crab. Like, a blue crab. Yeah, and a I've seen some of them. They're pretty... They're... Interesting. Edgy. My sister said that the other day. She was like, I'm edgy. And I'm like, what? And she goes, I have Stranger Things stickers on my water bottle and I wear this clothes. I'm edgy. <laughs> and I said, excuse me? And she said, I'm what? I'm edgy. And I said, you are not even close to edgy. You are anything but edgy. And like, I'm sorry. That That's mean. But like, you can't just say that. You're in seventh grade. Are you trying to get through your emo edgy phase now? Because that's, I can appreciate that. But it's just going to be one hell of a ride. Like, what kind of train is that? Train of disappointment. You're a train of disappointment. Life's a train of disappointment. At least I have one, idiot. The second grade insults. Your mom, your dad. Your dad's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's oh. not. Then where is he? <laughs> We should have filmed that Mario party. That was nuts. That was nuts. Frick you too. Language. Oh, Switch. Cheese. Language of Switch. Switch. Oh, we just said Switch. We're in Ona Hard today. We have to. What should our noise be for bleeping out the swear words? Switch. Oh, man, that's gonna be hard. That's what she said. How, Elmo? How? My parents absolutely hated it when they were, um, when they were, uh, the workers were here, like, fixing up the sidewalks. Oh, yeah. They absolutely hated it. Every time we drove by, they're like, oh, no. And they'd be like, oh, you turn to turn around. I'm like, why didn't you just turn around sooner so you didn't have to do that? <laughs> and, like, I don't even know why they hated it so much. Like, it was just the smallest delay. And they went so far around, it would probably would have been faster if they just stopped and waited. This isn't even that bad. And this is a miraculous site. There's like, I just, there's like five of them. They're all actually working. None of them are just standing around shooting the breeze. I know. Apparently, um, these guys, like the guys that direct traffic, apparently they get paid a lot of money. I don't know why. All right. Oh, here's a good one uh, for last video of the decade. Favorite movie of the decade. Actually, that's an easy one for me because it's my favorite movie in general, Interstellar. My my favorite 2010 movie was Tron Legacy, without a doubt. Um, my favorite 2012 movie, Guilt Trip. Um, that is hilarious. We gotta watch that sometime. I can't believe it's the end of the decade. It's so surprising. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's just, it came so fast. That's what she said. Oh, okay. 2015 didn't even feel that far away. Yeah, you know, you're right, though. 2015, that feels like not at home. Now. Especially, like, 2017. Like, the more recent I ones feel like just, like, yesterday. Because, I mean, think about, like... I'm trying to think what my channel did in 2017. In 2017, that was when I did the backwards feet. Huh. And that does... And I'm pretty sure that's when the driving... The first couple driving videos were filmed. On this road. That does not feel like that long ago. Why don't you tell me about the steel you just so got? So I just got, I'm gonna focus here, Mario 64 for only about 40 bucks. And usually online, they're around 60 because mm -hmm. people are stingy and they want money for it. Cool, and that's a big name. Well, yeah, but also, oh, nostalgic, so I don't want to give it away for that little. And I saw this in there and I was like, man, you know, I haven't gotten a 64 game in a long time. This is a great price. I got some gift cards, so I just bought it, and it's a great, great game. I didn't see anything I liked. Uh, Sky saw Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim's kind of been piquing my interest recently. Once I get a solid way through Breath of the Wild, though, I might revisit that. Yeah, because Breath of the Wild is a huge game, and Skyrim is also huge. So like two huge games at once would be kind of a handful, you know. Yeah, and I'm going into. Finals week here in about a month, so I don't really want to. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. What I will probably do in the next couple days is find a $10 eShop card and get fast RMX. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like if any game is going to be like F Zero, it's that game. Mm -hmm. And I really want I really want an F Zero game for the Switch. I don't know if they're going to do a 3D Mario Maker. Ooh, that would be too big, I think. It's too much. That's what she said.